The death toll rose to 10 after a gas station explosion in Russia's Republic of Dagestan on Friday, the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations said. Another 11 people were injured in the blast on the outskirts of Makhachkala, the ministry added. The wounded people were hospitalized, citing health authorities. Search and rescue operations at the rubble of the explosion site are underway, according to TASS news agency. Firefighters and rescue crews pulled two bodies from rubble on Saturday following an explosion at a gas station in Russia's southern region of Dagestan, bringing the death toll to at least 12. The explosion on Friday triggered a fire that tore through the service station and its cafeteria on the outskirts of the regional capital, Makhachkala, said Russia's emergencies ministry, adding that two children were among the dead. The fire was later extinguished. Makhachkala is about 1,600 kilometers south of Moscow. Regional authorities said a criminal investigation into the cause of the explosion has been opened and that Saturday has been declared a day of mourning in Dagestan. Last August, a massive explosion at a gas station in Dagestan killed 35 people and injured 115 more. Artillery units in the Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk are aiming to destroy Russia's weapons and supply routes as the strategic city continues to be shelled by enemy forces. The commander of Artillery Battery, 15th Brigade, Danilo told British broadcaster Sky News that the city was becoming increasingly difficult to defend as the enemy increases their production every day. Russia's forces are seeking to advance into the city, given that it is an important supply hub for Ukrainian forces, according to reports. Homes and buildings in the city have been destroyed, and some left derelict. Resident Hanna told Sky that it felt like people don't matter to anyone and that the fighting had turned Pokrovsk into a dead city. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris in Washington on Thursday. The talks were part of Zelensky's push to get the U.S. to allow his troops to use long-range weapons to strike deeper into Russia. But the Kremlin sent a strong, new warning to the West this week. President Vladimir Putin said that any nation's conventional attack on Russia that was supported by a nuclear power would be considered a joint attack on his country. Вчора наша автівка загнала ворожу обстрілу. В неї потрапила ворожа так званий FPV дрон. Але на щастя, наші рятувальники залишились цілими.
Мы никому не нужны. Никому люди не нужны. Сколько нас тут осталось? Мертвый город пробили. Противник здійснює кожного дня нарощування певних, певної продукції, наприклад, це боєприпасів, FPV, щоб ми так само могли знищувати це все.